Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. What I have here is a very cool kel handgun. I reviewed it back in 2022 at SHOT Show. I was among the first to get my hands on it. And I said, that's very cool. And there was a lot of buzz about it. People seemed to be very interested. And I thought that would make a cool CCW gun. And no, it's not a P-17, a P-11, P-F-9, a P-3AT, a, a P-32. None of those. It's very different. So what is it? It is their first striker fire gun believe it or not that's what they said and it's the p15 this is their introduction to not only striker fire but also double stack nine millimeter subcompact handgun and is it really subcompact because it has a four inch barrel they make this in both polymer which is what this is and with a metal frame and it's very interesting. So let's check this out because this has some features that I have never seen before. Never even imagined in my life. And I'm pretty sure if you don't know much about this, you have never seen these features either. So this is the case. And I'm going to keep this handy because I have to refer to it as I go through this. Let's first talk about this handgun. It comes with a 15 and a 12 round mag. They are made by Mechgar. We can see the symbol right there. They are Mechgar mags. 15 round mags and a 12 round. I'll show that again. It has a 4 inch barrel as I said. Very interesting slide serrations. Bevels down a bit. Okay, it is a striker fire handgun, but it has a magazine disconnect. Now, before you say, I would never buy a, a handgun with a magazine disconnect, stay with me because there is a simple way to disengage that. It, it's, it's pretty amazing. It also has a grip safety. That, too, can be disengaged. I'm going to show you how. Very simple. You've never seen anything like this. But the raised bumps that are quite raised it gives you a very grippy feel when you grip this three finger contact with that 15 round mag it's pretty aggressive i have to say it's pretty aggressive the grip safety right there does you don't have to be depressed to pull the trigger here we have an unloaded firearm it it has tritium night sights okay you can see the rear there tritium a fiber optic tritium front sight and so you look right there and you can see that it has a pretty nice sight picture day or night optic ready that part is confusing give me a minute i want to talk about that pick rail and the trigger breaks the website says five pounds i'm measuring it right at 4.1 pounds all right so it is a pretty light trigger it is an aluminum trigger pretty light strike a fire handgun oh, i have to keep the mag in there in its current setting no audible reset or anything like that there's a look at it but let's get to it because i want to show you this specific part you have to pull the trigger which we did and i'll drop the mag to disassemble it you're going to pull the slide back a little bit. I'm going to take my knife and uh, a back of a, a round would work. And you're just going to pop out that pin. The slide stop pin. All right. You pop it out. Check this out. Off comes the slide. This is the part I want to show you. Well, let me go ahead and disassemble it. That's the recoil spring captured and the four inch barrel. All right, very lightweight, by the way, very similar to many Caltech pistols. Now, right there is a dial. This dial has three settings, and I checked out all three. Very interesting. Right now is setting one. The grip safety is engaged, so you have to utilize that to pull the trigger, and the magazine disconnect is engaged. Okay, if I move it to step two, which I am showing right now, I moved it to step two, that disengages the grip safety and disengages the magazine disconnect. All right, and then there's a third step. The third step will disengage the magazine disconnect, but will engage the grip safety. So you can choose how you want to 
carry it how you want to utilize it if you're very much a, a safety person you want all the safeties on there you can keep it on one you can move it to two to disengage both of the magazine disconnect and the grip safety or you can put it on three just to disengage the magazine disconnect Whew, that was a mouthful let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in the case here is the 12 round Metgar mag okay you can see it's pretty oiled up there but it also has and i noticed this the grip is very thin but it it it's not necessarily a back strap. I, I, I guess it sort of is. It's more of a grip extension. The grip extension allows the grip to be a little bit wider. And I would choose that because this is very thin. My, my fingers almost come all the way around to my palm there. So it's very thin. And it even has a wider, well, a grip safety that you could connect to this one to make it longer so that will work all right so that's what's in the case and we'll put this off to the side let's go ahead and put this back together we'll put the four inch barrel in in there so let's go ahead and put this back together we'll put the four inch barrel in and we'll put the recoil spring in. The recoil spring sits very loose. So you want to keep your thumb on that as you put the slide onto the frame. You want to keep that nice and tight. Move the slide back. And then we'll take the slide stop and put it in there. That, that has to be perfect. It'll snap into place. And... You are good to go, just like that. One of the things that is confusing to me is the optic ready option. I don't think this is optic ready. In 2022, they said, yes, it's optic ready. You have to get a plate afterward. And then a year later, they still didn't have that figured out. And now you look at the site and it doesn't say anything about it being optic ready. I think they scrapped that idea, honestly, because I see these four bolts here and the there's a plate but there's not a plate it, well what is it i don't understand it doesn't seem to be standard as most optic ready pistols are so i'm going to take it that it's not optic ready because it's not even on their site it is an ambi gun for the most part the magazine release can be switched over and that's about it but there it is very lightweight let's get it on the scale here we have an unloaded p15 we put it on the scale 16 and a quarter ounces here are 15 rounds for the 15 round mag 22 and 5 eighths this will bring it to 23 ounces uh well no 22 and 7 eighths ounces with 16 rounds a little lighter with the 12 round mag is it a subcompact gun? I would say no. It's got a four inch barrel. Hard to believe that's as long as a Glock 19, if you will, but it is. The gun is very different, very much lighter. Uh, would it be a good carry gun? Do you know much about it? Are you running an optic on this? This is what I really want to know. Are you running an optic on this? I, I tend to think not, but it's very different. Caltech they are very innovative and the way they did that grip safety and magazine disconnect is engineering overload i think it's fine uh design it's a great design actually and this thing is pretty cool i'm in the process now of deciding if i want the metal frame p15 but there it is would you carry it that's what i really want to know if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.